Hey everyone, I just wanted to do a video real quick to show how to get the mod manager set up and working the way it should. Uh, the first thing you're going to need to do is go to the Discord where my mods are posted and stuff like that. There will be a link in the description below. Click on mod manager at the left. Scroll until you see a link. Open up the Icarus software, GemK72. You'll click that link. That will take you to my GitHub page, and you will see the latest version of the Mod Manager posted here. Uh, the current version that's posted is version 0.9. I'm hoping to have 1.0 up soon. So you'll click on that, select download, and it'll pop up down below. You're going to want to open that up and extract it. The place you're going to want to extract it to that I would recommend would be the drive that your game is installed on and put it in the program files x86 folder. Click on that. I already have a folder set up for it. If not, you can click new folder and name it Icarus Mod Manager. The name doesn't really matter much. Uh, install it in there. Click yes. It'll install everything in there. Close that down. Okay, once you have it downloaded and extracted, uh, go ahead and open it for the first time, and you should see this pop up Icarus install found. That's if you installed it on your program files x86 folder in the same drive as your game install. It will automatically find your find your Icarus install, click OK, and then it's going to want to update the data folder. Go ahead and click yes, and you'll see stuff pop up that it already updated the data folder, and you're all set. These are some of my mods I've added that come with the mod manager. Uh, you can click through them and select which ones to install a couple of them. You would just double click. It adds them to the list here. Uh, go ahead and add a couple here. And then to install all of them, just go ahead and click install all mods and it will list them as it merges them together and then go ahead and install them. And those are installed. If you look down here, you'll see it created a merged mod, IMM merge mod. And that popped up in the games mod folder right here. If you would like to install an individual mod, you can right click on it and select add mod to game. Before you do that, you'll need to clear your mod folder from the game. So just click remove all mods from the game. It'll remove it. You can right click it and add mod to game. And as you can see, the mod's been added to game. If you're going through and creating this list and say you don't decide you want to do it without that, you can right click it and remove from list. Or if you want to start over, you can clear the entire list. As you see here with this right click menu, uh, there's a couple new ones on here. You can add the individual mod to the game. You can edit the mod, which basically all you're editing is the values that were changed. So if you go into like the uh, increased slots, right click on that. If you wanted to add more slots, click edit and it pops this up. As you can see the file that was modded right here, if you click on the file, some mods will have multiple files. It will list all the modded items in that file and then by clicking on the individual item it will bring you right to that so say you wanted to add more storage in this small crate you could simply select that change that to 30 and save changes close that out if you go back into it click on the small wooden crate you could see that it's changed it to 30 
when you're editing these, you have to be very careful of these commas and the punctuation. If you change any one of these or add an extra comma or remove a comma, the file will no longer work. If you do that, you can open it up in a text editor. I'll show you where those are files are stored at. If you go into the mod manager folder, see there's the mod manager. And by the way, if you wanted to right click that and send to desktop as a shortcut, that's what I usually do. And then I have a shortcut to open it. But if you go to here and you go to extracted mods folder, that's all the mods that have been extracted. Find the one that you're having a problem with. Say the increased slots. If you open it up with a notepad, you can see you can edit these here too. If you select them all and then go to a website. Um, JSON validator. Uh, this is the one I use. You can say you accidentally deleted that comma right there. You can select it all. Go to that website. Paste it in there. Copy. Go to website. Paste. Click on the validate. And it takes you right to where the problem was. So you can see that you deleted that comma there. Add the comma back in. Validate. JSON's good. Uh, right click. Select all. Right click again, copy, that off screen, select all, and paste. And as you can see, it fixed the comma. Go ahead and close that, save changes, exit out of that, and then when you click on it again, it would actually work. And then you can go back and edit it this way. So Let's say you installed some mods and you don't use them anymore. You can now delete them. This will delete them from the mod manager. So say the uh, Thor hammer, you don't want that one on there anymore. You can just select delete mod and it will ask for confirmation. Click yes and it's deleted just like that. So now that we've went over installing the mods that have been extracted, let me show you how to extract a mod. So if you download a mod, it should be in a pack file from the Discord. You just click Extract Mod from Pack File, open up your downloads, and then you'll just select the one you want, and it will go ahead and extract it. Hope it goes through, and there it is. Just like that and then that can be added and let's say that you like this mod but you kind of want to mod it make some more changes to it but you want to keep the original you can copy mod so if you put this change that recipes say my version click OK been copied so if you look over you can see that version is still up there and if you scroll down here's the new version so then you can edit mod click on the file and then this is all the items that have been modded in this file so this is a recipes one so it's a lot of the crafting so if you go to see he's added a lot of bulk items you can click on the bulk item it brings you right to it uh, that's how fast or how long it takes to craft it. This is you can the places you can craft it at. 
and that's the count. That's how many it gives you. You can edit that and then save it, exit out, and then just add that in with your other mods. Now let's say you merged a couple mods that have similar changes. You will get a pop-up. So let me change some values in this one. So if we go down here and say we change this count to 10, and this one to 10, and save changes. Now if we select, we got both of those selected, we go to install them again, it shows there's a conflict. So as you can see, the original was 5. Sorry about that. The original was 5. The amount I changed it to was 10 on the second mod. This tells you the current mod that you're merging, the file, what item it is, and the inputs value. So on the inputs value, this was changed to 10, so it will cost 10 sticks instead of 5. So if you want to keep the original, you would select add current value. If you want to keep this one, then you click add new value. So we're going to go ahead and keep the current value of 5, and then that pops us to the outputs and arrows. So count 5, count 10. We'd rather have output 10 so we can go ahead and keep the new value and it stored those new values and updated that. Uh, some of the other features I've added, I don't know if I said you can remove from lists so if you add too many items you can remove that. Uh, another thing we have here is the rename mod. So let's say you merged a bunch of mods and it creates this IMM merged mod. So if you right click and select edit mod, you will see up at the top it says mods. And it'll tell you the three mods or however many mods have been merged into this mod. So if we want to create a new custom mod from that, you just right click on it and rename mod to say... My favorite mod, click OK, it will rename that mod to My Favorite Mod, and right clicking Edit Mod, you will see it's the exact same mod that was there before. So instead of, if you get it like a combination you really like, you can save that, rename it to your new mod. So you can install it anytime you want. The, the main reason to use this mod manager is for weekly updates. So let's say next week Icarus does an update to the game and your mod is causing issues, you would just open this up and you're going to get a prompt that says the data folder is out of date, would you like to update? Click yes and it will update data folder or you can do it manually and then you would just Click on this, you can double click and add it that way. As you see it popped up. Again, you can't have more than one mod in there unless you know they're compatible. So you'd want to remove mods from game, or you can right click it and select add mod to game. And what this will do, it will add the new updated. So how it works is it downloads all the new JSON files and then it re-imports just the changes you've made back into those files and then uploads it as a mod. So that's that way you don't have to re-download the same mods every week, extract them and merge them. You can actually, unless there's a major change, uh, a couple weeks ago I believe they redid the way that ammo works and weapons and that was like a very major change. So it broke quite a few mods, but uh, hopefully that won't happen as often as it has. But I think the game's still kind of updating and changing quite a bit at this moment. So it should be good with most mods. Um, 
another thing, say you have your favorite mod installed there and the new week comes out and you update the data folder, you don't have to scroll through here and find this mod and redo it. You can actually just say update current mods and what this will do is it will take that list of mods that are installed already and scan through and find any of the ones in your mod list and if it finds a match it will actually remove that one and then re-update this with the new data so if we click update current mods you'll see that it updated my favorite mod back up to the game and now it's updated hopefully that clears things up and prevents a lot of issues in the future um, I do plan on doing a video over creating mods, uh, how to do these. Uh, this is like a 560 wide and it can be as tall as you want. It's just an image only that you just put in the top folder, your mod folder. And this will automatically load that in there. So if you look at like uh, this one, you can actually scroll down with the wheel, mouse wheel. We'll scroll down and you can see the entire image so I believe it's 560 wide and then as tall as you want it to be you can scroll so people that download your mod can see an example of that um, some of the other features on here the files this lists all the file the JSON files that have been modded in this mod and then this lists all the U asset files so if you have all these, if you have a mod with a lot of U asset files, it'll list them here and you can kind of see what all has been added to the game and stuff like that. And that's pretty much it. Uh, some of these mods I have that are like U uh, asset only. So when they do a new update every week, if they update this file, it may cause the game to crash. Uh, thankfully, they don't update these files very often, not like the JSON files, which are weekly, but uh, these are binary files, so these can't be merged in and updated and stuff like that. So when you merge them with multiple, like see all three of these, use that, modify that same U asset file. So when I merge all these, the last one that's merged, this one here, is what's going to be in the game. Just keep that in mind if you have a bunch of uh, mods with U asset. I don't think there's too many people that are modding those. I think maybe one or two other people besides me have a lot of mods with those in them so that really shouldn't be an issue. But just something to keep in mind that merging multiples and these affect the same thing so you can't obviously have a 700 foot jump or 800 foot and a 900 it's obviously just going to be one of them so just keep that in mind uh and that's pretty much it for now